Thank you, ma. Yes. Um. People have this impression that I'm a very fulfilled woman. A classy lady living on top of her world. What is not just an impression, ma'am. It is the truth. It is the truth. You are a fulfilled woman by every standard. A lot of women out there are praying so hard to be like you. You are quite an inspiration. That's what you feel. The truth is, I'm a troubled woman. Troubled? Well, I'm sorry, ma'am. But how is that? How possible can that be? How can you say that you're a troubled woman? How? I've been looking around. Somehow I feel you're the one who could help me in this. Help you out with what, ma'am? Look, just tell me whatever it is, I will do it. God. Let me start by asking a personal question. Are you into any serious relationship right now? Well, I don't know why you would ask that, ma'am. But I will answer you because of the respect I have for you. I am not in any relationship presently. Although I have suitors, I've got suitors here and there. Although I haven't seen a committed one. Okay. What if I introduce you to a job that could possibly lead into a relationship? Would you do it? I trust you absolutely, ma'am. And I believe you have my interest at heart. So tell me whatever it is you want me to do, and I will do it. I knew, I knew that I can trust you. Oh, okay, ma'am. You said something about being troubled. Please, can you share it with me? It's all connected, my dear. I'll brief you the details later. But well, under normal circumstances, nothing stops me from coming to live in that house with you. Nothing. You know it yourself that I do not have any problem with you living with me. Well, I have a problem with that because you let me have peace. I put up this structure here so that I can just have peace. Son, you know you're lying. I am doing what every responsible mother should do. That's not true, Mom. You are doing what I don't want. You are stressing me out, Mother. I'm your son, not a child. I'm an adult. I'm a pilot who flies a commercial aircraft via different routes every week. Every week I fly international, Mom. I need to be in the best shape to do my job. We've talked about this over and over again. It's not the first time. Is you, Bob. We have plenty of time for this discussion. Hmm? Please go and get me something to eat. But did you come to this house because of food? Yeah, you know, how can be good? Is there anything wrong for me to come to my son's house to eat? Because you can't get them in the Okay, Mom. Okay, Mom.
as usual. The food is completely burnt. And there's nothing left for us to eat, right? My love, I'm sorry. It skipped my mind that I had something on fire. <laughs> this is the height of it all! That it skipped your mind that you had something on the fire! What is wrong with you, Lara? What? I'm sorry. Do I need to remind you that this wasn't the first time you say you're sorry? 24 hours of the day you're busy pressing your front from morning till night without doing any other thing in this house. I'm sorry. It won't repeat again. I promise. You've said this several. But nothing good has come out of it. Okay, Jeremy. This was a mistake. An honest mistake. And it can happen to anyone. I have said I am sorry. I'm sorry, baby. Okay? Don't worry. Just relax. Okay? I'll fix you something else to eat. Okay, my love? Mm. Relax. I'll be back. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> Lara wasn't like this when we were cutting. What is going on? Millie, why are you staring at me like you don't trust me? This is not about trust. This is about knowing the man I'm going out with. Breaking my heart with those words. I mean, how can you talk like that? You know, I love you from the depth of my heart. And when you talk like that, you break me down. Why are you not getting it? Why are you not getting the point? I was with my friends yesterday and they were making jest of me. Making jest of you based on what? They say your stock in trade is to date married women and feed fat on them. That's an insult on my personality now. That is an insult. I mean, how can your friends cast a passion on me and you didn't turn them down? You didn't do anything? What do you want me to say? When your secret calls and everything lay credence to what they are saying. She is not even aware that dating married women has become big business. Gerard, you're not saying anything. There is nothing to say. Millie, there is nothing to say. I mean, it, it hurts that you don't trust me. I don't have anything with other women, let alone married ones. I am not. Your friends are only jealous. You are enough for me. I love you from the depth of my heart. You see, your friends are just jealous, okay? Please, I love you and I'm not ready to leave you. Cross my heart. I love you. That's why I do. Oh, well, if you insist on eating something, I can get Paul to make you noodles. Are we not tired of eating noodles in this house? Why can't you get a woman to cook proper food for you? Why did I not see this coming? A woman, huh? <laughs> woman. All the time, every time you visit me. Woman, woman, woman. Well, I'm doing something about it very soon. You know, you see what I come up with. And I know that's exactly what you're going to say in return. Humphrey, getting married is for you and not for me. You getting married is becoming a long walk to freedom. And I don't like it. You agree now that the reason you're here is not because you're hungry and want to eat. Huh? You're here because you want to talk. I mean, to get married. Uh, Paul! All of the above. Are you not tired of staying alone? Paul! Ah. Ah. Um, make her something to eat. Ask her what she wants. Okay, master. Mommy. 
what would you like me to, to make for you? Um, Paul, it's fine. Um, you can go. Clearly, my mother is demanding water, bachelor. Clearly, cannot have in his home, so it's fine. You, you can go. Oh, okay, sir. Well, sir, I can still prepare what she's saying. Just that she has to wait so I can go to the market and prepare it. No, no, no. no. I don't think she's hungry. You can go. Uh, That's exactly what I'm saying. Humphrey, at your age, you're still a proud bachelor. June 18, three weeks from now, you'll be 41 years. Eh? What can name? What is stopping you from getting married and raised children? Mom, can we change the topic? No. Let's deal with it now, once and for all. Okay? Because I'm paranoid right now. I want my grandchildren, and you must give them to me. Hmm. All right. I hear you. I'll do something about it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm ready to eat whatever you're going to offer. You're hungry now. You want to eat? Yes, I want to eat. <laughs> well, you know this whole thing sounds like tales by one of the pets. <laughs> Forgive me for laughing, but it, it sounds like fiction. Mm. Are you are you did you make this up or happen for you? How can I? No, because it beats my imagination. I I, I still do not believe and agree with you. Nonyene is Sydney, someone who was cooking would totally forget what she was cooking on the gas cooker and then, you know, sit out and start pressing her phone and then the food got burnt. I'm afraid. No. I, but I have never lied to you once. Honestly, she forgot. And the rice got so burnt that the whole house was just smelling. She was busy sitting out on the seat out, <laughs> pressing her phone. I'm sorry, I'm stop sorry. laughing at me now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm not funny, honestly. No, I'm funny. sorry. It's just that the image is very vivid in my like I can almost picture a slave queen sitting down with her nails. Make up. Bless your heart. Stop. 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 Your house is in flames. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously speaking, look, you need to have a conversation with her. Have you tried that? Like call her to order. You know, tell her that what she's doing is not right. Of course. Of course, I, I have done that countless times. I have sat her down, talked to her, and yeah. advised her to, to you know, get into the wife that she is. Yeah, sure. But it's just that she, she's just turning from bad to worse every day. Ah. Not good, not yeah. good. I'm afraid you have more work to do. Bro, you need to talk to her. It's not an easy thing. You need to talk to her. It's a... <laughs> you need to talk to her. I'm sorry I'm laughing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's spotting me, guy. Well, let me say what I want to say. I'm your friend, you came to me. Let me talk. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm just, listening to you. Go ahead. I'm just saying. Mm. <laughs> I'm just Humphrey. saying that if Stop you don't laughing. talk to her. No, if you don't talk to her, one day you come out from work. Your house. Humphrey, please, you need to stop this. Please. You need to I stop this. <laughs> My dear, as a follow up to our last discussion, please sit. I have made up my mind to bring you into the deal. Well, ma'am, you know me very well. I'm a very reliable lady. Even those I've done businesses with will always attest to the fact that I am trustworthy. Mm. I like the sound of that. I'm aware you know my son. The pilot? Acknowledged by all as classy? Who doesn't know him? He's very popular, ma'am. How would you like to be the woman in his life? I don't know what you mean by that. But with the class he maintains, I am very sure he has a woman in his life, if not women. Let me bust a bubble. That's the problem I have with him. 
There is no woman in his life. I want you to be the woman in his life. Unbelievable. Well, I won't say no to you, ma'am. I will not. But the question begging for an answer is, how do we have it executed? That's not a problem. I will personally take you to his house, introduce you as a cook, and ask him to employ you. A cook? If I become the cook, then my place will be in the kitchen. How then do I get to be the main woman? Oh, come on, Ijoma. Don't disappoint me. Look at you. You are well endowed. God has endowed you. You have everything. You'll be employed as a cook. Then you activate the woman in you. He gets you pregnant. Leave the rest to me. <laughs> Mommy, you are naughty. Well, I think I clearly understand where you're headed. It's not something I cannot do. Mm. Good. <laughs> Do you know the one that pinches? Yeah, I'm listening. Tell me. I don't want you to laugh this time around. Honestly, not don't, don't laugh. I'm not laughing. I'm serious. Tell me. She said she won't get pregnant until she clocks 35 years. Why? What's happening at 35? She still sees herself as a model. She doesn't uh, want to do that shit. <laughs> I mean, she's still expecting some kind of endorsement deals. <laughs> hey, you made a promise you're not going to laugh. I did. Hi! <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. She said, I need to understand. Well, you're dealing with so much, man. Lara is really, really dealing with you. What? She said that to you. Honestly. No, are you serious? If I have to tell you what I'm going through in that house, Humphrey, we will not live here today. Okay, my question she is, if she, it's okay to be ambitious, you want to do the things you want to do, it's fine. She oh, should have just waited till, you know, she's satisfied. You know, not get married, remain single. Mm. You know, you know, be a slave queen, you know, parade herself as a model, you, you know. want it both ways. Get the marriage, get the singlehood, and still pursue the, the, the endorsement. And how is that playing out now? Enough about me. <laughs> Let's talk about you. Yeah. You've said your mother came out. My mother came early today. It was drama today. Mm -hmm. Ah, you should have been at mine. It was drama, you know. You know, typical mother, she, she came around and told me that, hey, I'm getting old. Mm -hmm. I have to get married. She wants grandchildren. You know, typical, you know. I have to clap for her. Why? No, let, let's face the fact here. All facts. You have a comfortable job. You're tall, you're handsome. You have everything going on well for you. So. Tell me, what are you still waiting for? Uh, I'm waiting for lockdown. It's almost time for lockdown. Let's go home. It's not yet time for lockdown. No, let's, let's keep drinking. We're not having this conversation. I'm not going to deal with my mom. I'll come here and have to deal with you again. I'm, I'm here to relax. I'm not here to be criticized. Okay? I'm your friend. I'll be the one to tell you the truth. What truth? Marriage is not by force. It's a necessity. But not by force. It's a necessity. You have to do it. Ugo ah. Jej. If your mother did not get married, she won't give back to you. You know I don't have to get married to have children. I, this is the argument. Uh -huh. uh, marriage is not solely about procreation. That's why it's my mentality. Did I wake you up? Where are you coming from? Apologies, adult. Well, I'm just calling you to inform you that I found a very good cook. I will bring her over to your place tomorrow. Trust me, I don't delay when it has to do with your welfare. I'm bringing her over to your place tomorrow. Good night.
Bolo, bolo. Alpha, let me show you. Did you see the baby boy guy's mom came here with? Ha! I'm not the one that will get money. Oh, oh. Oh, boy, eh. You see, the, you see this one, eh? This is the definition of made in heaven. Mm. See, all this is what is doing. They will bring gears for him. He will reject them. He keeps rejecting women. See, eh? This one is the final boss stop. He mm. can never say no. Mm. Yes. I'm even praying for that. For him to reject her. <laughs> My guy, mm. that babe is machine. Jamma machine. Eh? I'm even craving for her already. Ha. You will not understand. I just pray that our guy will, will, <laughs> will free her for me. My only problem is that I don't know why I will not see beautiful girls like this whenever I'm in search of women. Yes, now. Who told you that one? Huh? You see them on daily basis. You even see the ones that are more beautiful than this one that came. But your problem is that Owu Jigaka. Owu na asagi gugu nki bazwa. Owu eji aka we no nandum. Understand? So you are just respecting yourself more than me the woman and that is why you don't uh, approach them. I know you very well. Yeah, Andy. Andy. Hmm? Is that supposed to be an insult or what? Which one is insult? What kind of insult is this? See, let me tell you for the fact that we work here as domestic workers does not give you the right to insult me. It's starting well. Eh? What is the meaning of that nonsense? Me, I don't like it, oh. I don't understand. Oh, am I even better than you? Yes. I won't give you a quick identity. See, let me tell you the truth. I am far, 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 far more better than you. Forget. You can't give me you say about you, but you can't do Let me tell you the truth. Okay, let me ask you a question. Do you have a bank account? I used to. You used to? Mm. You don't have bank account. You're here to say nonsense. Let me tell you, eh, I have bank account. In fact, savings account. And I have so many things inside that savings account. I've made enough savings. Understand? Mm. So you shouldn't be talking talk, talk, talk nonsense. You open your mouth and tell me you are better than me. No, I cannot. What do you have? You that will make two naira, you, you, you can buy two, uh, and, and carry two babes. You make five naira, you can carry five babes. You open your mouth and say you are better than me. Take, no, take five now. Don't you don't want to take five. No, let me th 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 shake myself. Are you mad? See, let me tell you. Okay. Thank you for exposing yourself. Let me see the day I will come to you to lend me money and you say rubbish. I'm swagging. Nonsense. No, keep wasting your money on women. Keep wasting it. I'll be saving my own. Tomorrow you're going to come and tell me, uh, uh, lend me money. Lend the book where you get Okay. Hey, baby. Uh, they didn't tell me you were going out. Uh, baby, an emergency just came up. But I'll be back before you go out, okay? Where exactly are you going? Um, There's this endorsement deal that Annie and I have been following up with a new company in town. They just called us for an interview. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Very good news. Mm -hmm. So that means. You're going with Annie? Yes. I wish you success. Oh, thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. I'll be back, okay? Alright. See ya. I love you, babe. I love you too. Your son really took after you in class. Everywhere is so classy as your house. Everything here can become yours if you play your card well. Oh, mommy, you should trust me already. Let's, I understand this game and I'm ready to play it very well, perfectly. Good morning. Oh, yeah. Mom. Good morning, son. Uh, you're not having anything yet, what? Get them to. We're not here to have anything. This is Ijoma, the cook I told you about. She's going to start handling your cooking from now. 
Mom, I don't remember having this conversation with you. I never told you that I wanted someone to come cook for me in this house. We didn't talk about it. I don't need you to tell me for me to know that you need to start eating food prepared by a woman. Mom, can we please talk outside? I'm getting a message. We're uh, not done with this conversation. Why do you want us to go outside? Mom? My dear, make yourself comfortable, okay? Is he No, 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 it's not. Don't worry. It's not that I want to know. I can't it, okay? Just make yourself comfortable. Okay, mom. I am comfortable already. What is that? Son, this is not the kind of training I gave to you. Why are you scaring the innocent girl with such an aggressive approach at our first meeting? Mom, I'm only going to say this once. That girl sitting there would not cook my food. She is no cook. How can you say a thing like that? You think I will bring someone who doesn't know how to cook and introduce to you as a cook? You think I will do a thing like that? Mom, did you even look at her? Did you take a proper look at her? Did, did, did you look at her? Mom, you know very well that I, I'm conscious of what I, what I eat. That girl is not going to cook my food. Son, I'll plead with you not to dismiss her because of my looks. Oh, God. please. She's a classy woman, and that's the kind of woman you need. Uh, Sam, uh, you're a well-traveled pilot, dignitaries visiting from time to time. Your domestic staff should be a woman. She's the kind of person you need. She's classy. I have a domestic staff and the man is doing an excellent job. At this stage of your life, a woman should start preparing your food. Give her a chance. Iduma, the job is yours. Oh, thank you, ma. Thank so you, sir. Us. How much are we going to pay? Uh, well, Mom, well, hold on. Since I'll be the one paying, don't you think that it's, it's right for me to, to tell you what I can afford? Why are you sounding scared? Are you broke? No, Ma, I, I think he's right. He has the right to say what he can afford. Okay, let's see it. 10,000 naira per month. What? That's what I have. I'll take it. No. I'll take it, Ma'am. I don't have issues. Her salary will be 50,000. That's what you'll pay her. Come, let me show you your room. Yes, thank you. Yeah. This way, darling. This way, yeah. Excuse us. Hello, Jeremy. Uh, Annie, how are you? I'm good. How is my wife? Um, is my wife with you? I should be the one asking you that. I don't know. She lives in the same house with you. And besides, I've not seen her for days. Ah, uh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, please don't be offended with my question. I was thinking that uh, she's with you. No, 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 no. I've been, I've been in the state. As I'm talking to you right now, I'm just coming back. I'm on my way coming back. Oh. 
this drive safe looking. Now, don't forget to make use of your seatbelt, okay? Okay, I will. All right, take care of yourself, okay? All right. See, listen, guy. <clears throat> One thing about me is that I hate to join issues. <clears throat> yes, now, especially with those who are not up to my class. I don't want to have this discussion again about that girl, Biko. Huh? What's all this? Guy, we need to talk. Please, I'll call you back, okay? Huh? Alpha. I do, I do. Polo, you like say you want to see for this one when they throw your eye. <laughs> that girl. Uh, what is her work in this house? Which girl? I talk and say you want to see. She she's here to cook. Cook. Uh -huh. See, let me tell you the truth. Though. That girl does not look like somebody who is here to cook. From the way I'm seeing that girl from this angle, eh? That girl looks like somebody who is here for that thing. Ah! Andy! Why will you make such a session about her? See, let me tell you. Eh? I'm not seeing that girl as someone who can cook good food. I'm not sure she's here to cook. Andy, it's not written on the face. Who told you? Yes! Polo, by this time you should know that I am a spiritual man. And I see things in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Yes! See? The way I'm seeing that girl, eh, she's here on a deadly mission. And we need to be careful. If I go again, you see you. I know you more than you know yourself, Andy. Let me tell you, you better remove your eyes from that waist. Because already I have my eyes. I'm living there. You're living there? Yes. You could go never. No, no, okay. Look at me first here. Polo. You know I like good things. I like big things. I'm into big things. You want to gym? I can't But let me advise you. I go 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 I I will advise you to take your eyes off that girl. You line like me to one side. Yes. See, let me tell you. You see that girl? Eh? <laughs> your one year salary. She will manage it in one week. A month ago. So I advise you to take your eyes off that game. I can my girl one day. You come to me and Andy, my guy. I want you to borrow me some money. One day. Yes, that's why you are my friend. Even if I come to you, you must borrow me. Borrow me. You see that girl? <gasps> Forget about her. She's too small. I have handled girls bigger than her. I handle girls for a living. Are you serious? Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. Handle, handle her.
never knew she was this beautiful. See how beautiful and fresh she looks. Oh, life. <laughs> life, indeed, everyone should be given a chance to express what they have. Look at her. So beautiful and fresh. And then she can cook. Oh my goodness. She can cook. The last time I had a meal this good was when I visited a Nigerian restaurant in Switzerland. And now I am blessed with a woman who is not just beautiful, but also well-mannered and a great cook. And so it is safe to say that I am in luck. <laughs> Ooh. This morning, I told you I was going for an interview. I didn't have your last letter this time of the night. My lord. A tanker fell on the express. A tanker carrying fuel. And it was a total lockdown. They kept us for hours. It was just this night that they removed the tanker. Oh, my darling. But the good news is that I secured the contract. You know, they asked me to come on Saturday so that we can finalize everything. What about Tani? Did she succeed? Of course, we both succeeded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you know what, darling? I need to go right inside. Okay, so I can freshen up and then make something for both of us to eat. Okay? Don't worry, I've already made food for us. You made food? Oh, come here, my darling. Come here. <laughs> mm. Okay, let me go freshen up, okay? I'll join you. Alright? Alright. <laughs> Keep that talk. Where the salad did she go to? I will surely find out. Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, not a problem, sir. What you have asked is not impossible. Yes. <laughs> of course I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, if for nothing else, your commitment to charity uh, is quite um, laudable. I'll do it. I'll um, draft the uh, commendation letter and send to the Aviation University. But, sir, I would like to see them first. Oh, yes. Oh, at the moment, I'm home. Um, but next week would be better. Uh, after my return from New York, uh, they can come to the office and see me. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, yes, come in. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> Uh, no, thank you too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, uh, I'll be in touch. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, good afternoon. I want to know what you would like to have for lunch. Or should I use my discretion and make you something nice? Ah, I was going to ask you. Good thing you're here. Did you go to a catering school to to improve your culinary skills? No, sir. I learned from my mom. You learned from your mom? You learned from your mom? Quite impressive. I, I enjoyed the meal that you prepared yesterday. L listen, I give it to you. You're a very good cook. Thank what you. I had yesterday was really, 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 really good. And just so I encourage you, I have decided to review your take-home package. 
I'm going to raise it from 50,000 to 80,000 naira monthly. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate <laughs> that. Thank you. Uh, it's nothing. You're, you're good at what you do. It's fine. Thank, uh, you. thank you too. Um, yes, you were here to what again? To find out what you would like to eat. Or if I should use my discretion. Please go ahead and use your discretion. Uh, okay. Needless to say that I trust you now. Thank you. So I'm glad you like my food. <laughs> I do. Uh, thank you. Yes. Are you serious? Yes, now. I called you all through the night. So they phoned me, but you didn't pick your phone. My dear, I noticed my phone was vibrating. But I didn't want to pick the call because Jeremy is already getting suspicious of me. But how could you tell such a lie without informing me? I didn't know it was going to come out like that. Eh? I didn't know. So, how did it end the call? This is not what we will discuss over the phone. We need to see one on one. So, can you come to my house later today? I'll be there shortly. Okay? Alright. See you then. Okay? Everything is working perfectly, Ma. Good. I'm glad I'm hearing it directly from you. Yes. He, he likes my food. He enjoys it. And because of that, he increased my salary from 50,000 to 80,000. Hey, Jama. I'm sure you know what you're there to do in my son's house. You're not there to cook food or receive fat salary. Of course I know, Ma. In case you have forgotten, let me refresh your memory so we can be on the same page. You are there to lure, seduce him, to make him get you pregnant. Then you leave the rest for me. I know my mission here, Ma. And I'm already setting plans in motion towards achieving that. You don't have any problem. Good. I'm glad you know your mission. Let him get you pregnant. You leave the rest for me. All right, Ma. I'll try my best. Don't try your best. Do it! Yes, Ma. Oh, please. What will I cook for this guy? So it means that she lied to you about her movement. Exactly. I know you need to find out. You have to find out where she went on that day. You should find out. That is what I intend doing, but I don't know how to go about it. Not, not to worry. Uh, I'll come up with something. Hmm. Lara. He must be up to something for not telling you that he called me. That means he knows I lied to him. Yes, I think so. I just have to cancel the weekend. No, 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 no. You don't have to do that. Why? If you do, he will know you must have spoken to me. So, just... But, Andy, there was no contract negotiation in the first place. We will create one, Lara, please. We will. We will create one? Yes. How? Come on, just relax, okay? Relax. <sighs> relax. I'm out. Lara, relax, okay? <sighs> just relax. Calm down. Everything will be fine. We'll fix this. Are you we sure? We'll fix this. First grade. Hey. Jamam Meshe. Your food is ready. Come take it in the kitchen. Hold on. You mean I should 
go to the kitchen and take my food. Mm -mm. You shouldn't go to the kitchen to take your food. Rather, you should invoke it to come here so you can have it. Well, you're supposed to bring the food here and serve me. This is my office. As what? As the person that employed me or what? Are you paying me? Look at this man. Is it because I cook and serve you in this house? I don't, I don't understand. Eh? With your, with your rubbish shoe, I should come and serve you. I don't have your time. Maybe when the hunger starts dealing with you, you won't have any choice but to come in and take your food. Nonsense. But Paul told me that she's the cook. I'm beginning to see what Paul was talking about to Hi! Urudia, Urudia, or get there, or get there. If you gotta take that food, I will take that food, yeah. since you stepped in your foot into this house. My life has not been the same. Based on emotions and feelings. Eh? I don't understand you. <laughs> you don't tell me you don't understand me. See, I love you. Eh? Yes, I want us to be lovers. Are you okay? Are you Have okay? you lost your mind? Lovers with who? You. Look at you. What do you think you can offer? <laughs> No, no, okay now. I don't have a lot of See, I have a lot of people here. Listen, you have got absolutely nothing to offer. And for your information, I don't do people in your level and class. So don't you ever waste my time by stopping me to say this nonsense to me again. Hey, RJ, why are you sick? Hey, don't, do not touch me, Makola. Don't you don't, don't touch me. Hey. <laughs> Uh, but is that, that's not enough reason for, for her to be talking. Let's see the way she's even talking to me. Is it because I'm working here as a domestic worker? Are you okay? Hmm? I'm okay. Paul. Huh? You see that paradise you are targeting? Yeah? Hmm. If you put your hand there, Uri Akagi, So I cannot admire the dining again. Can you name this boy? Keep on your own yard and cast web. I'm going to go. How do I look? Yeah. Oh. You look. Ah, you are astonishing. Beautiful. Whoa, mm -hmm. my darling. Yeah, you know you always make me feel on me each time you say that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let me look for that. I want to qualify how you look because I say you're beautiful. It's an understatement. Mm -hmm. Turn around. You're charming. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. The most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, thank you, darling. Mm. You know how much you care about you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you are the best husband mm. I could ever have. Mm. I love you. I love you. Do you know what, honey? I need to record this. Good. Yes. Go ahead. I have to record this. It's about your first. Honey, my phone, I think I left it upstairs. Right. One minute, please. Oh, my God. Late. Oh, I 
The truth is that Humphrey doesn't want to get married to any woman. Why? He believes all women are the same. But you know that's untrue. All women can never be the same. But my wife is a typical example of all women are the same. Secondly, Humphrey is highly temperamental. He doesn't take shit from any woman. However, I will talk to him, who knows? He might change his mind because of you. I don't think there is any need for that. Don't Why? worry, don't we don't need to talk to him again. Don't don't talk to him. It's not necessary. Why? I have changed my mind. Please can we do without talking about this? You are confusing me, my dear. You were the one who switched to him. I know, but I've changed my mind. You know. Sometimes, we discover that some battles are not necessary. Especially when you're fighting for what you have already. You are still confusing me. Please, can we quash this topic? <laughs> 